we thought she might be the best in the game. Of course, the meta situated since then, but she didn't get too much weaker than that, guys. All right, here we go. Starting off on PS2. Yep, starting off going into it and seeing whoever can get started first is really going to be what Whoop. I think is going to define this matchup. When you have to approach either of these characters, it can be really, really scary with them being able to Z-drop out of shield with both of their respective items and get very, very big combos. So whoever can kind of get this lead going, that's yeah. going to be the biggest aspect. Yeah. And it looks like Dale already has a side percentage lead going on right now. Yeah, oh, really? And you know, oh, wait, hold up. But I was about to say, <laughs> yeah, you, you, it's Peach, but 80% isn't exactly a lead against Peach at zero, because she has the zero. Test. Was that, that was a, uh, a squinky eye. I thought it was a stitch for a split second. But yeah, getting those low percent combos at low percent, especially on a character like Gob, she didn't get that reset with that grab there, but. 80% isn't always the lead when you're playing against one of them. Oh. Also, also if, I, if I'm mistaken, like, doesn't Peach like, have like some not like super duper great uh, shield options? I mean, like, she does have her back here. Um, she uh, has Bale, which is eh, fantastic out yeah, of yeah. shield. Yeah, pardon me. She has uh, the uh, turn up, Oop. though. Not We're gonna, unfortunately a bit too low. Yeah, a little oh, bit sorry, too, too low. She has turn up, Z drop out of shield, which can do some big things. Or just turn up yeah, throw out of shield and get some big combos. And then she has yeah, grab, that and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, but that is uh, if she happens to have a turnip uh, in her hand. But yeah, in these situations where she doesn't really have anything, landing kind of spaced in front of speed because she can't get that out of yeah. shield grab can get super, super stressful. That's why she can struggle with those swords, as mentioned earlier. Yeah, yeah. And like, she uh, she may even struggle against Rob uh, with uh, Rob's down tilt and perhaps uh, some of other Rob's uh, options as well. <laughs> And uh, but still kind of starting to run away with this. Oh, Jesus. Great setup there with that Z drop. Reminder that Jai will always send in the direction you're facing. That's why you saw Jill turn it around, look back to the stage, and then turn back around to get that S smash. So great setup there, getting that stock. And now Dill's making this really scary. It is so hard for Peach to get in on a character when they can just kind of do that. Hit these projectiles, Nickel and Dime you. And Peach has to put in a lot of work to bring this back. Yeah, for real. Especially given the. The, the, the stock gap between these two players right here. Yeah. Although, Dill is at 134. But Peach is going to be struggling to kill until probably about now. If you want, will do it. A fail will do it. Show, sure. but if you kind of sit in shield and get away with it, you might oh. live at back door at ledge even. That side B may have been an input error for, uh, from Dill. Yeah. And the back door is not going to do it from center nope. stage just yet. And yeah, Dill contented to reset all the way to the top of the stage. Finally going to die at 181 to that dash attack. All right, all right. But like, as we were saying earlier, Peach can really just like pump out damage. So getting a yeah. good combo starting heal might be able to reset enough to actually get Hosto back into this game. We'll have to see if they can, if he can get this going, if he can get anything going, or if he's going to yeah. kind of just run away with us. And but but the problem is, uh, at least for Peach, is just getting in on Rob in the first place because, especially with things such as Gyro, such as uh, Neutral B. And, and hell, e even uh, the Nair, too, uh, which you may have seen uh, Dill like, throw out a bit of here and then. Oh, man, and there's going to be that up smash to take that last stock. Up smash out of shield catching. I believe that was a float cancel bail. They didn't get fully shielded afterwards. Maybe Hulk Snow was going for a little bit of mix on shield, and Dill saying, no, you, you can go to the Blast Zone instead. Um, so, yeah, going really, really good showing there from Dill. We'll have to see what adaptions Hulk Snow can make going into this next game. And only. Oh no, it's just a landing bail. My apologies. No, no, we are no tech in that. Just landing bail. Not going to get it. And yeah, yeah, just. Yep. Oh, so right there. The scoop hit box. Teleported her up a few feet. She kind of jumped off of the ground. <laughs> but yeah, going to Kalos by the looks of it. All right. Interesting choice here. Um. I think the the space is what uh, Hoshino was looking for. I think that's what he wants. But also that does give Rob more space and yeah. is going to give him the ability to live even longer. We saw Dill, she was living to very, very high percent. So we'll have to see what exactly. Oh, oh, we'll have to see exactly what Hoshino can do here and go into these okay. things. But. Wait, what up? Oh, yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, going straight through this, and oh, yeah. Dill is a little bit down, which isn't a, is a good showing to see this fall from Hosno. 
but yeah, Dill bringing it back slowly and surely, and this gets scary because you did 70%, but then you got 70% done back to you. The momentum's kind of swapping out of your favor yep. of your whole snow, and not going to be able to get that down into fail just yet. That's going to be another. 30% before when he kind of does anything to kill Rob at the ledge, if it kills Rob at the ledge. Remember, he is a very, very heavy character. Yeah, R Rob does have some mental. Uh, well, it's, if, if I'm mistaken. Um, yeah, I mean, he has made a medal, so to be fair, he probably should be pretty heavy if he's made a medal. <laughs> but yeah, the space is very much also working here for Hall, so the game is very close. Um, it yeah. was close if you, on paper, it wasn't close last game, but it looked much closer than it was the uh, last game. So this kind of just staying alive, staying in this, and this percentage is, there's not really a definitive lead. Both these characters can take these stocks pretty early at the last game. going to get that shield poke with the up air. And that's scary because now you don't have the rage, and unless you get Rob at the ledge and try to get yep. these edge guards. Uh, I was supposed to get that for it. Oh, nope, gets it there though. Nicely yeah. done by uh, Snow. Yeah, and I would like to just. I just want to move the game one. Hall Snow's full stock was actually taken by an SD. Oh, the pool. Oh. So, good. being a huge. Was that 62? 62. There Nicely counting. done by Hall Snow. Yeah. And oh, so that, we actually oh, never saw that. Dill have to take the lead. And now we're seeing that when Dill does have to fight and take that percentage, Hall Snow's keeping it very, very close. Pressure is doing it, and we'll have to see. Oh my god, that's such a scary bail to go for, though. God. Oh, gets the day into the forward there. Nicely done by Hearthstone right there. It was only 36% oh. taking that yeah. entire stock. This is... This, this is... Whoa, whoa, hold up. They, they went for it all. <laughs> yeah, but Dill, she, she wanted something. She wanted something. But instead, yeah. Hearthstone now, now with a solid lead. Now you have to approach me. This is the opposite of last game. You have to come in. You have to actually fight me and see what you yeah, can do. Yeah, got to chill with them side beasts. Like, although the, although those side beasts do hit hard, and only, um, they, they do have quite a bit of end leg. Yeah, only taking 8% for that one, unfortunately for her. But the next one, she might not be on that edge of that platform where she's a little bit safer. Um, so we'll have to see what... If Dylan can get back into this, this is Robin. She's done almost 100%. And Ooh, that oh, downer was so close. Yeah, it kind of froze me up for a second. I was Ooh. like, oh no, she might be <laughs> taking this. And this is scary. If you get grabbed, you might down to, die to an up tilt up air. But Arsenal going for a lot, a lot of damage. If you can get another. Oh, bit, just went for another side beat, just like that. This time it catches it, takes that stock, and that's why she's been throwing them out, making you a whale. Keep holding your shield up. If you're not holding your shield up, there's a possibility that I can kill you at any point. Oh, that's whoa, whoa. all kinds of scary there. And I believe also <laughs> used his jump to get kind of back to that position, so if he got hit, that was death, even at 32%. Whoa, whoa, oh. try, try to go for pretty much it all with that upbeat right there. But hold up, wait a second. Not going to nope. get the side B Not there. Quite. And you saw Dilla wheel back a little bit. She wanted that. She knew she could have ended it right there. But if she can get another one, we'll be able to. And she's only down 24% in a little bit counting now. But Hoshno has been able to get some nice, nice offstage edge goals going. So I oh, got a gas, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is unfortunate for Dale. Not every day but you see is. Rob went out of gas, but that's just a testament to how much pressure Hulso is throwing out of there. How much time is he being able to reset Rob's offstage position and kind of just put him in a bad position where then Dill has to start choosing options and kind of drift out there a little bit more. Put her in an uncomfortable position and go from there. Oop. Yeah. What the heck? It's gone. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, he is. Yeah, just, just look at it right there. Honestly, like gotta just go. Very, very little fuel. Practically no fuel right there. Jesus. To be fair, with these fuel prices right now, I'd also have no fuel. Absolutely none. But hey. Yeah. <laughs> 0%. Yep, 0%. You gotta fill up with that $7 a gallon gas in New York <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so bad. Hey, look, look. With, <laughs> with, with, with how them gas prices be right now, bro, I, I, don't, I don't blame Rob Mates for struggling. <laughs> take the subway, take the subway, Rob. <laughs> but going back on the PS2 here, this is where she won game one. We'll have to see if Dill can make do this game without that beneficial SD that she got from Hulk Snow in that first game. Hey, right. now. Oh, now, hopefully, uh, Arsenal, uh pr pretty much has uh, the, the download on there right here. We, we saw Arsenal do, like, much, much better uh, in that last game. Yeah. Uh, despite the, the unfortunate SD on, on that last stack uh, by Dale. But, but, but perhaps uh, Kalos may have played uh, quite a bit of role 
That might have been a combo thing, or yeah. the space might have just walked out. And yeah. PS2 is not a small stage by any means. It has some pretty solid space to walk with. It's pretty wide, but maybe it's comfort maybe this is comfort for dill or rather so we'll have to see what she can get started here trying to get some of these bales going not able to get any just yet and also not able to get any oh Ooh, jesus christ that up smash was dumb close i think she tried to catch a neutral air dodge you're not going to sd there you can see on that side of her body she has a lot of field to work with and going to see if she can take the stock first uh oh yep that's not is Ooh, going man. to do it and that, that, that was a bit of nice use of, of the counter, just right against the horse, though. Yeah, and honestly, just only taking 45% on Hoko's stock. Dill of the fact he's in a pretty good position. We'll have to see what Adaptive Hostel can make here, and if he can make We're going pretty deep. This. Oh, wait, oh, hold up. Go jump. Oh, and the side B just yeah. to be extra short. No, I and think that going. was necessary, actually, because I think he <laughs> might have been able to float in. So, yeah, yeah, and now this is scary. You're down three stocks to one. Dill's kind of already starting to get momentum here on this last stock. What can Hostel pull out of his bag of tricks? Not going to be able to get that. Oh, whoa. I, it is so safe on Shield, getting the fail yeah, on it. For real. But yeah, now we're seeing that same situation as game one. Dill going high, living to very high percent, and forcing Peach to kind of make an option where she isn't being able to get away with it. And now 83% and climbing. This is looking like also needs to stem the bleeding somehow. But not going to be. Light the counter to not have to get yeah. out of the position, not have to shield. But double. So scary. This is so scary. Yeah, for this is a really, really terrible spot for old Arsenal right here. But hey, Dill is that one. Oh. <laughs> and an adoption. Dill made some crazy adoptions going into that third game. And did fantastic pulling that three stock up and showing why she's always been one of the strongest girls on the East Coast. You know something? Like, I, I, I don't know if it's just me, but like, what? Did, did you see like many grabs from like Hearts now? No, Dill was playing really well and some of that space. You actually didn't even see really a lot of Hostel throwing things out on shields in general. But yeah, this may. Ooh. Yeah, I think Peach actually is dead that low. But yeah, just to make sure in case, side B, goodbye. Such a strong move in that up smash. Yep, that up smash. Yeah, that was kind of a given, given the dash attack on the shield. Dash attack on shield. And we've been seeing Rob, for example, like Anathema. All of the Robs have really been throwing out that up smash out of shield a lot more. It is big, it scoops, and it kills out of about 120. So you hit my shield. I don't have to grab you and do this weird 50-50 thing. I'll just kill you. Yeah, why not? Exactly. <laughs>